Here's the situation. You're one of a crew of sailors who have been captured by pirates captained by the bloodthirsty Captain Bloodbeard. You and the other sailors are about to be fed to the sharks. You have only one chance of survival. Captain Bloodbeard needs one sailor to become his pirate mathematician to help keep count of his treasure. To decide which sailor lives, he sets a difficult multiplication problem. The sailor that solves it first will be spared from having to walk the plank. You have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 73 times 59. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into two columns because the first number, 73, has two digits. You also have to subdivide the box into two rows because 59 also has two digits. You end up with a box subdivided into four smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the four small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 73, along the top of the box, so each digit lines up with a column. Write 59 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator because there are no calculators aboard a pirate ship. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with 3 times 5. That's 15. The 1 goes above the diagonal and the 5 below. 3 times 9 is 27. Again, the 2 goes above the diagonal and the 7 below. Now let's fill in the blanks in the other column. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 9 is 63. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 7. So write 7 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 5, 2 and 3. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Write the 0 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, plus 6 is 13. Write the 3 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 3 is 4, so write 4 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. 4, 3, 0, 7. 73 times 59 equals 4,307. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator 
but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not on board a pirate ship. 73 times 59 equals 4,307. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the multiplication guy.